Here at Tormach, we love to tell your stories. So here's Leo Cayeros, who's a tattooist, who's also making tattoo machines with this Tormach mill. I bought my first mill from uh, Harbor Freight, and I graduated to uh, use Bridgeport. The time came when I realized that I just was not going to work anymore, and I had to do something different. So uh, I found a tech shop where I learned to use uh, the Tormach. The machine they have there is getting old, very, very abused. It gets beat up so badly, and that thing still runs, and it's still accurate. It still does a good job. And that right there is what convinced me to buy a Tormach, because how good of the work I can get from that thing, after all it's been through, yeah, that right there, I'm like, I need a Tormach, so I bought a Tormach. About four or five months ago, I CNC the very first thing I ever did, and I jumped in feet first. I'm like, it's pretty complex. Whatever, let's do it. I mean, what's worst thing can happen? Scrap some parts, you know? So whenever they got pad pilot installed, one of the guys literally, I'm not even exaggerating, two minutes explained to me pad pilot, two minutes. And I was on it, never asked a question about it again. You know, it was that easy to use. The project that I did on the Tormach at Tech Shop, I saved all that money and bought a Tormach. Flat out, you know? So it's like, it's, it's, like I said, if it's going, I'm going to get it, it better pay its own way. You know, I don't have time to be, I have kids in the family, life in the family. So, and, and it did, it did, no problem. It's like, can't beat that. Uh, it's a lot of machines out there. Some got bigger motors, some got steppers, some got servos, it's got bigger envelopes, but I needed something that was accurate enough, was affordable enough, and had to support. And so far, what I've found about Tormach, the support is like second to none. The only company that had all those things that came together was the Tormach. So that's why I bought the Tormach. Support was like one of the most important things to me, and they answer everything. I have questions, they're on top of it. The things I do, some of the machines I, I make and I've designed are pretty complex. Uh, they require a lot of parts that have like such small, like they got to fit just right. The tolerances are real tight. And uh, some of these designs would be impossible by hand, just would not happen. And some of the prototyping I have to do would just take way too long, way too long manually. So the only answer, I mean, the only way was to get a CNC machine. Stainless steel, stuff like that, I, uh, I hate it. I mean, to get to plastics, those are a mess too, you know? I think probably brass, brass and aluminum. I mean, brass, I just love the way it looks when it's freshly machined, just the look of it. When I'm designing something, like I'll, I'll make a thumb screw, and, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll facet it. I'll put facets all over it. So when it's made out of brass, it just, the light shines of it like, like a piece of jewelry. It's functional and it's beautiful. I, basically what we have in this industry, all the tools we use are tools adapted from other industries to work with tattooing. There's not too many things that are designed for what we use. And so I'm trying to design things made for, for us, you know, not to borrow it from somewhere else. It's like, it's like my art. This is like the designing them in my own way. It's like uh, what I feel like I used to feel like when I started tattooing and drawing. It's like my expression, my, it's my, it is my art, you know, and when I make something, this is my piece of art, except you get to tattoo with it. Thanks for watching. Check out all of our latest videos here, and for more metalworking tips, tricks, and stories, subscribe to our YouTube channel.